One South Florida DJ enters the Cox Media Building for the last time after 34 years in radio. But just before doing so, he didn't hesitate to give our cameras an exclusive tour of the very building he began his career in some 34 years. This is uh, Cox Media Building, the house of four radio stations, WEDR 99 Jams, we have Party 97, EC 93.1, and Hot 105. Once all the traffic goes away and the sun goes down, most South Florida radio stations turn up on WHQT, Coral Gables, Hot 105, and that's when we all hear this. How you doing, love? I'm Freddy Cruz. Hope you had a wonderful day today. We have retired from employment from the United States Postal Service after 31 years of service. Plus another South Floridian retires after 31 years at the United States Postal Service. Congratulations, Edith. Welcome to the crowd. You're gonna have fun. And they show us all how they party. Plus the date that Freddy Cruz signed on and a unique date that Freddy will be retiring. The two are similar, they have a whole lot in common. Now a lot of people are sad that Freddy Cruz is retiring from Hot 105's Quiet Storm. But have no fear, there's another Freddy Cruz in South Florida. My message is for the city of Miami Police. Is there a connection between the two to keep us all safe? Good morning, South Florida. Frank Cornelius Jr. here in the all new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show Studios. Now, the stars lined up for Freddy Cruz over the past 30 years. And the stars are lining up right now for us here. Because what are the odds of having a show about the number one radio station in South Florida on the show that you made your number one source for urban news in South Florida? Frank Cornelius Jr. When it starts right now. From the Frank Cornelius Jr. Show Studios in South Florida. You, you more places than the fans and the IRS. I'm the artist that wrote the Miami Heat song, seen in all the media, entitled Tell Mr. Stern to Get the Rings Ready. I'm South Florida Zone, singer, songwriter, producer, on-air talent, sound engineer, son of legendary family, husband, father, friend, and now the host of this show. And I don't say my name. I'm too busy letting everybody else say theirs. Hi, my name is CeeLo Green. I love Ben Rock from the legendary Naughty by Nature. This corrupt young guy. This is Todd Tucker. We go love. Say more. This is Michelle A. And you're watching the Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius. Don Cornelius. Come on, son. It was a joke. My homeboy, the Frank Cornelius. Frank Cornelius Jr. Show. Frank Cornelius Jr. He wasn't no soldier, ain't he? Huh? Hey, whatever. This is the all new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show. And it's heavy. Heavy. Just me and you from my heart, from my heart, yeah. From my heart, from my heart, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is what a heart is yeah, yeah. like. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, Frank Cornelius Jr. here in the all new Frank Cornelius Jr. Show Studios, bringing you the latest in entertainment, music, and community news. Retirement. It's something that, if we're lucky enough, we'll all get a chance to experience it. And many people retire every day, every year. One South Florida resident retired after 31 years. But it's not the retirement. It's the trials and the tribulations that she faced throughout the years that kept her going to work each and every day. And now that she's retiring, every employee under her rank from Dade, Broward and Palm Beach County wanted to make sure that they surprised her with a retirement party and congratulated her on all of her accomplishments. Now, as many of you may know already, I'm a little too young to retire, but apparently according to the looks of retirement from Edith Colley, it appears that she can't stop working. This is Benita Shine. Um, classmate, um, how many years, kid? No, no, don't, don't count. Don't count. You heard me say don't count no years, right? Even if it means serving her friends, family, and colleagues at her own retirement party. And it was supposed to be a surprise where she's the honoree. So while she couldn't stay still, many of her guests came to our table to make sure that they expressed their well wishes. Honey, I love you. Congratulations, Edith. Welcome to the crowd. Now we're getting ready to do some traveling, so I hope you're ready to roll. I love you, and I'm glad you're in my 
I'm here to celebrate with you, and I hope you enjoy. I've known the, 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 the host, or whatever it's called, for quite some time. I remember back in the days when they used to call uh, me and my brothers and my niece, Mr. Dean, Missy Dean. Hey, Mommy. Um, congratulations on 31 years with the post office, and I'm so proud of you. And after that, the 1975 class president, David Newby, presented a Hollywood Hills High School proclamation. December 25th, 2018. 2018. Edith Collie Day. Then it was time to do what she's been waiting to do for over 30 years, party. There's nothing like growing up with family and friends until the very end. Much, much, much congratulations to my own gal, Edith. <laughs> much success. Congratulations, Aunt Edith, on your retirement. May you enjoy your retirement. Live life to the fullest, or as you say, Definitely live your best life. Do all the things that you want to do from this point on. And speaking of the United States Post Office, um, it's to my understanding that they are hiring. So while she walks away from a rank, my rank might be yours. So log on to our website that's on your screen right now. And there's a link to how you can be a United States Postal employee. Now, for as far as I can remember, radio has always been around. Whether it's information, new music, old music, you name it, radio hasn't gone anywhere. And it doesn't look like radio will be going anytime soon. Now, as a DJ myself, we looked up to people like uh, Chico the Virgo and Joe Fisher and James T. And we always found ourselves somewhere around the radio. Well, one South Florida DJ, he spent over 35 years with the stars lining up for him and his radio career. And he found himself not only going on the air Thursday, January 10th in the early 80s, well now some 35 years later, he's retiring Thursday, January 10th. When the day shift switches tonight, so does the jocks of Cox Media Group's Hot 105. So as Big Man Kelly, who is sitting in for Big Lip Bandit and Shelby Russian, holds it down, he gives us a little insight of what Freddy Cruz of The Quiet Storm gave to his 30-year career. I'll never forget when Brian McKnight came in. And uh, and he came in, he came in for a show, and I remember going up on the elevator here in the studio and Brian McKnight talking about Freddy Cruz. And then maybe like two years later, I did a show with Brian McKnight and I opened for him and he remembered coming to see Freddie. So the, the thing is with these artists, you know, it's not just about the music, there's a relationship that's there between, between the radio, oh, yeah, the speaking. artist, and the DJ. That is like a ballet, man, it's, it's awesome. And as he continues the shift, just like clockwork, Freddy Cruz walks into the building minutes before it's time for him to go on the air. But he knows his timing so well, he meets our cameras on the third floor to give us a tour of the very building he began his career. Okay, here we are at 2741 North 29th Avenue. He remembers this building very well. It was his first job on the radio before going to Coral Gables to join Hot 105. From here on, from here, to that side, it was lawyers and doctors. This was the lobby, the program director, y, uh, Bill Tanner, who was a program director of Y100 at the time. He's the one who hired me at Hot 105 back in 1985. How hard is it gonna be without the quiet storm and our favorite host? But there's another Freddy Cruz we see all the time with the same name. I'm Freddy Cruz. And, and just in case you haven't figured this out yet. My father started in radio in the 70s. This is Freddy's son, commander of the Miami Police Department, Freddy Cruz. That's a show you, you come home and uh, you know, after a long day at work and you just want to relax with that deep voice and that real thick accent, 
I mean, he's taken off. He's always been number one on uh, in his time slot. So let me get this. On air for 35 years, number one for 35 years. Son, who is a commander of the Miami Police Department, and it's also said that he met his wife on the request lines. Now, was this your mother? No, that's not my mom. No, that's my stepmom. And uh, yes, that's that, that's correct. In 1985, I think she went to make a request and uh, they met up and the rest is history. They've been married for 30 plus years. He may be responsible for the baby boom population in South Florida. No, that's just in South Florida. When you added the Oho online series, that number probably jumps to like 10 million. And as Freddy Cruz walks into the studio, he immediately does what he does best. Hey, good evening. Oh, thank you, Smokey Robinson, and thank you, Frank Cornelius Jr., for dropping in tonight. No, Freddie, thank you for 35 beautiful years of the quiet storm. Good luck. God bless. We're definitely gonna miss you. Congratulations to Freddie Cruz on his 35 years uh, as a DJ and congratulations on your retirement. Freddie started Thursday, January 10th in the early 80s and the stars lined up for him where he can retire on Thursday, January 10th, 2019. Total of 35 years in radio. Not to mention, as you also seen in that story, Freddie started out in the same building but there was no Hot 105 in that building. It was another station and a Spanish station where he started on. Then he ended up getting hired at Hot 105, which was in Coral Gables then. Then Hot 105 moved on uh, 79th Street. And from 79th Street in the very same building where he started with the Spanish station. The stars seemed to have lined up for Freddy Cruz over the last 35 years. And his retirement, to me, can do nothing but get 100% better in his life. Congratulations, Freddie. Congratulations on your retirement. Now, if you would like to learn more about this story and Freddie Cruz, log on to the website that's on your screen right now. And we have more information about Freddie Cruz, his retirement, exactly what he's going to do, where they're going to do it, and you know, all that good stuff. Well, that music normally means that our time is up here at the all-new Frank Rodriguez Jr. Show. But as always, log on to our website so you can see what we're doing where we're doing it, and who we're doing it with, and how you can be a part of it. I'm Frank Cornelius Jr. Make it a great day.